Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. According to the NEC, what is the minimum distance required between the bottom of an electrical panel and the floor? And the correct answer is the NEC does not specify. Let's imagine that you have this customer and you come to their home and they're wanting to contract you to change out this oddly placed Federal Pacific panel. And when you get in there and start doing a little bit of research, you find out that this used to be a garage. They've built the floor up, which put the panel in an odd place, and they have just lived with it this entire time. Well, they contract you and they want you to put in a brand new panel, but they have one stipulation. They do not want any drywall repair at all. You try to talk them out of it. You let them know it's going to have to be basically back on the floor. But the question is, what are you allowed to do it? And what does the NEC have to say about it? So the answer is yes. In this case, you could put that panel back where it's at, as long as you met all the other codes. And the NEC does have a lot to say about that panel placement over current height and also working space, 30 inches, 36 inches, six feet, all these different measurements from floor to ceiling. But it does not specify how low it can be. But one thing that you have to watch out for with all, you know, everything that we do and all of your installs in the electrical industry is you have to check the manufacturer specifications. Check them, see if they have a minimum height that you're allowed to install that piece of equipment or that panel board. Maybe from combustible materials, maybe from just the floor itself, it might specify. Also, just like in every other jurisdiction, you have very specific local laws. So make sure to check those. Check out your local laws and see just how low you can install that panel. Of course, ultimately, you have to get the customer's okay to install anything in a manner that might draw strange attention to a room. But in this case, the customer said, we don't care what it looks like. We just don't want to repair the drywall, period. So you come in, you put this panel back where it was, and you are code compliant as long as you've met the manufacturer specs and also any local ordinances. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. We're doing something very special from now until Saturday. This is July 23rd, and that would be until this Saturday this week. If you purchase our 400 NEC questions, which are compatible with the 1720 and 2023, if you purchase that 400 PDF download, it's a download, and it's $14.99, that will provide one homeless bag to a homeless person here where we live at. So uh, each one covers about a bag. We're going to cover if there's anything over, and we're going to take that bag. The bag includes toothpaste, toothbrush, uh, nail kit, and includes some wipes. It also includes some food, snacks, and drinks, and we're going to go and hand those out. So if you would like to purchase that, I'm going to put a link down in the description below, and we will take those resources, and each one that you purchase goes towards a homeless bag. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and if you need anything from me, just let me know. Let's get to it.